One of the world's most beloved musicals is making history in Lower Manhattan. The first ever Yiddish language production of Fiddler on the Roof in the U.S. recently opened to rave reviews. Tickets are going fast. And joining me live is actress and comedian Jackie Hoffman, who stars as Yenta in the show. It's so great to have you on the show. And, Thank and you. you are terrific. I really love this production. Thank you. Did you know Yiddish before you started this? I did not. I knew what my mother calls kitchen Yiddish, which is like a smattering of words here and there. And then... I gewalt, right? Oh, yes. And that's all in the show. Yes. <laughs> But it goes a lot deeper than that, doesn't it? Yeah. So, I mean, we most of the cast didn't know Yiddish, but we, we learned our, our lines. And, and people, there are like super hardcore Yiddish scholars who have been uh, in the audience, you know, with a fine tooth comb. And they, they're very impressed with it. They say their Yiddish is just tremendous. And you could tell about all the hard work we've done. I mean, you really had to undergo a crash course for this, didn't you? And how I, long did I it did. take? I mean, I got the script in my hands weeks before because I'm a panicker. So they knew that. So they were uh, drilling me. And it was like emergency Yiddish school. We're looking at it right now. Yes, I mean, we it, it are. Is, it's a very, it's a unique experience it going is. in to see it. And I've seen this, uh, you know, I've seen a production of Fiddler on the Roof maybe 12 times. But this was especially moving. And I yes. think maybe because it's the actual language that the characters would have spoken. I back believe then. so. It just cuts so deep. The response to this has been tremendous. And everybody tells me how much they cry and how, and non Jews and Jew. Uh, Everybody's so touched by it, and I think that this language cuts really, really deep and goes to a real emotional place uh, that English doesn't go to. I think I'm hearing you in my... Is that... Yeah. Oh, no, oh, no, that's... We, uh, no, we want to avoid grandma's. that. You don't want to hear Seidel. me. <laughs> well, you know, the other thing that I, I find so amazing about this production is, you know, I didn't expect all that much. You know, I see a lot of Broadway, and I actually, you know, saw a production not too long ago on Broadway. This one is at the, uh, the Museum of Jewish Heritage in Battery Park. And uh, it is as professional as they come. The, you know, the, the gentleman who, who plays the lead, Stephen, Stephen Skybell, Skybell, is oh. just amazing. Yeah, yeah. Best uh, heavy ever, I dare say. Yeah, and right you're up all, there with Zero Mostel. Yeah, I would say. And I understand you had a visit from one of the uh, original uh, stars of the show, somebody from the, from the film version. Was it Topol? Oh, yes, Topol. Yeah. Um, Topol came and saw us. How was that? Well, he came late and left early <laughs> but you know that's <laughs> that's Israelis I don't know he was he was great he was very impressed with what he saw and he came back to meet us and everyone was really excited to meet him he's and, very sweet and when people come to see it I mean is there a reluctance on the part to get audiences because I mean it is it's in a language that most people in right New well York there are know? there are subtitles on two screens so you're safe uh, and uh, no, I mean, we've, we've been selling out and filling it up and the word of mouth has been amazing and, and people are just going nuts over it. They're eating this thing up. Yeah. And it's so great to, you know, my the husband is not Jewish. He's from East Lansing, Michigan. He's like, it's so great to hear this language. Everybody's responding on such a deep level to this language. It's kind of great. It's just the most unhip thing in the world, and it's become the most hip thing ever. And some fun surprises. You know, if I were a rich man becomes, well, I can't say it in Yiddish, but if I were Rothschild, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Rothschild. Rothschild. Right. And tradition, you sing tradition, but you say... Traditie. Traditie, yeah. You know, I, I looked at your uh, Twitter feed, uh -oh. and uh, oh my goodness, I, I have to quote you on some of these, because you are uh, just a hoot. Uh -oh. What was it you, you wrote? I didn't my know mother, this was going here. My mother's so thrilled about every aspect of Yiddish, filled, fit, uh, Yiddish Fiddler that she didn't even flinch when I told her there was a roast beef cream cheese dip at, at our picnic. Yes, there was. <laughs> our rabbi's very talented and crafty yeah. in, the, in, in, in Anatevka. Yeah. A roast beef cream cheese cheese dip it was odd well I but good I, I, I just want to remind our audiences uh, our viewers that uh, you have extended the run right uh, out of popular demand it's going uh, it's running now September until 2nd September 2nd and uh, this is Fiddler on the Roof in Yiddish it is uh, presented by the National Yiddish Theater Folks Bina, right? Folks Bina, not your average fiddler. Get Trust me right. on this one. <laughs> it's at the Museum of Jewish Heritage uh, in, uh, in Battery Park. Yes, and it's such a beautiful place. And we look out at the Statue of Liberty where at the end of the show, that's where we're
We're all headed, so it's really cool. All right, Jackie Hoffman, it was a, a treat to have you on. Thank Good luck you very with the much. show, and thanks so much. Thank you.